What's going on guys, Little Ray here, and welcome back to another Class Royale video, and first off, I'd like to point out, if you have not noticed, that I am playing on my phone in today's episode, and that's because I used to record on a school-issued iPad, and because we had to return them, because obviously the school year is almost over, I will unfortunately have to play on my phone for the entirety of this summer, so hopefully you guys are fine with that, but anyways guys, today, we're once again going to be playing with the good old 2.9 Expo Cycle. This deck just never seems to die, it just always always seems to be super duper viable so without further ado guys let's go ahead and just quickly hop into a battle unlike most of you guys think this deck takes a lot more skill than most of you guys think obviously because uh because of how cheap this deck is you just have to be able to be able to know your card mechanics well enough to be able to control uh basically the entire match by using one or two elixir cards so anyways guys looks like we're going to be against vink 94 here and once again as with any expo cycle deck, you always want to just keep cycling cards in the back. So here, let's go ahead and send in a log because that was kind of an awkward cycle. But it looks like you got three musketeers. So I'll just go ahead, right here, fireball out the two musketeers right there. And then go ahead and play down my Tesla probably to go ahead and actually no I'm just going with an ice golem right here we'll go ahead right here distract those musketeers and then uh, I might have to play skeletons on that one musketeer actually I think I'll just go ahead and take that damage and I'm going to go in with skeletons in the back and then with an offensive expo obviously we're going against three musketeers so okay he's got a battle ram which is as expected but the expo actually locks onto the tower let's go guys he's forced to zap and we're going to be taking out that battle ram at those quickly log out the goblin gang right there and there we go the expo will be locked on the tower one again that's probably going to be his tower down actually no never mind he's got the minion horde that's gonna go ahead and take out the expo let's go skeletons right here kite those minions over to the opposite lane and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's see here let's just save up some more elixir and uh, we're just gonna go ahead right here as we oh he's actually gonna pump up so let's go and straight in with that expo right there and to uh, see what he has looks like he's got bats so let's go ice spirits go ahead and freeze that out and uh, yeah there we go tower's probably going to be going down and and, um, yeah, things are looking really, really good going into double elixir time. Three musketeers, pretty good matchup. I mean, he does have quite a bit of spell stuff. But let's go ahead and get a fireball ready right here in the center in case he does play his three musketeers. So, anyways, here, I'll just go ahead. Okay, he's going to go. Oh, wow. It's gonna, it looks like he's going to be using the giant three musketeers deck. So, let's go ahead. Right here with a Tesla. Uh, let's get a fireball ready just in case he plays. Oh, there's three musketeers. Oh no! Um, one thing that's really, really useful if you uh, if you have the timing fast enough, you can actually manage to hit all three of the musketeers with that fireball. But anyways, here let's go on the ice spirits. Go ahead and freeze. This is gonna be a really difficult defense. Let's go on the ice golem followed by archers. Go ahead and take out uh, the uh, the musketeers. Let's go ahead and quickly fireball to those minions. Come on and boom! Everything's dead. And there we go. We taking out that push. And that was kind of sketchy right there. But uh, oh, okay, this guy's gonna pump up again that's definitely recommend you guys not doing that because this guy is not in a position to pump up he's down a tower he's got to take my tower 20 seconds left there's really nothing this guy can do 17 seconds left he's gonna play a battle ram at the river there's just yeah this guy is not going to be breaking through my defense let's go with archers right here let's go with an ice spear oh okay <laughs> we got a comment uh, i'm gonna go ahead and turn off uh my notifications real quick and uh, yeah after this battle and i will be right back Alright, there we go. Looks like I think I've turned off my notifications here. So let's just go ahead and hop into one more battle. And this time against King Wallace from the Clan Victorious Army. So you're just going to start with a Hog Goblin Barrel. I'll go ahead Tesla and Log to take that out. And we're going to be taking zero damage after that first push. And he's going in with the angry face. Uh, looks like this guy is going to be one of those BMers this time. Which is quite unfortunate and quite annoying. But anyways here, we're just going to go ahead right here. I think I'm just going to cycle skeletons in the back. Again, with the expo, I can't stress how important it is to just constantly be cycling cards in the back force your opponent to make the first big commitment so you're just gonna go with the golem gang in the back i'll go with an ice golem right here followed by archers um Okay, he's going with a Mega Knight. So let's go with a Tesla, followed up by an Ice Spear to so go ahead and freeze everything right there. Oh, no, unfortunately, Mega Knight actually jumps onto the tower. Kind of a big misplay by me. Should have put the Ice Spear a little bit higher. And, uh, yeah, we're going to take quite a beating, actually, right there, which is quite unfortunate. But uh, this guy with that Mega Knight right at the bridge does not seem like one of the best of players right here. So, anyways, let's just go ahead right here. Uh, once again, save up more Elixir. Obviously, we're against a Mega Knight deck. Mega Knight is quite a heavy tank, so we're always going to have to 
to have the expo. Oh my god, I placed the expo one tile two back. Oh, okay, and we missed the column barrel as well. This is definitely not a good start for us, guys. Man, we are gonna have to have a huge comeback if we're gonna win this battle. Uh, let's go skeletons on the hog. Ice spirits go ahead, freeze the night witch, and uh, not the night witch, the, the regular witch. And man, this guy with his laughing is just getting on my nerves. Let's go ahead quickly cycle him back to another expo, and we gotta beat this guy, man. He's a BMer. We gotta show him who's boss. So anyways, let's go ahead split some archers once again in the back, and uh, um, yeah, we're gonna go in with our offensive expo. Obviously, let's go with the expo followed up by the Tesla right there He probably has no elixir to go uh, after he plays down his mega is those skeletons right here uh, Followed up by an ice spear. Oh, unfortunately the mega knight actually splashed onto the uh, the ice spear But anyways guys the expo is locked on the tower. Let's go guys archers to go ahead take out the minions and there we are Let's give we're, we gotta give them the crying face. Come on. Oh, Okay, well, <laughs> I guess I never turned off my notifications. Um, hmm, that's kind of weird, but let's go ahead right here. Just go and fireball out that witch. He's going to go in with a desperate golem barrel. Let's go with a Tesla right here, followed by skeletons and a nice spirit to go ahead and take out that golem barrel. Unfortunately, a few of the goblins will do a bit of damage, but that's fine. Our towers are really, really healthy, and looks like we're going to be grabbing the dub here. 30 seconds left. I don't expect him to break through. I, do, I don't think he's going to break through. That's just, okay, we're just spamming in the crying face. Man, this guy's BMing the whole match. It's time to return it to him. So let's go in right here. With some more BM. Let's go with the Tesla in the center. He's getting desperate here. Let's go with a log onto the Golden Barrel, guys. 10 seconds left. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead right here. Ice Spear followed up by a Fireball onto the Wish and Hog right there. This guy's not getting anywhere near the tower despite the rough start. And we're going to be grabbing the dub. This guy seems pretty pissed, but hey, you played pretty badly right there, King Walls. And we're going to be taking the dub. So GG right there. And uh, yeah, just showing you guys how good this deck still is. But unfortunately, guys, that is all the time for in today's video. If you enjoyed, please like them all as well and subscribe to my channel. And as always, this is Legendary, and I'm signing off. See you guys next time.